afternoon that I'd like to call the uh, Alton County Council September 27th, 2021 meeting order. Uh, Council uh, Nelson, would you give us an invitation, please? Yes, sir. Lord, for your presence, we give you thanks for this ask you to give us uh, counsel and, and good judgment as we do the people's business tonight. Bless us in this county. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Okay, before we have the uh, public hearings, I'm going to give you a little bit of turn of administrator. Just one second. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Um, we do need to amend the agenda. Uh, we've got a resolution uh, here that came in uh, right at lunchtime today. Uh, that's on Lone Star Solar LLC. That's a previous uh, solar project that we've approved. When we approved that, they left one parcel out uh, amongst the eight or nine parcels that they had. And so this is just to amend that agreement to include that parcel, okay? So I want I, that'll be later on. Uh, I wanted to amend the agenda for that, and I also wanted to tell the public I'm sorry about the uh, poor audio. Uh, I think we've got that corrected now, but certainly uh, with the Facebook Live, it's a little bit challenging with the air condition and the vibrations in the room, but I think we've, we've got it under wraps now. But that's it, Chair, thank you. Uh, we have a few public hearings. Uh, public hearing on ordinance 2021-18, ordinance to amend section 26 of the code of ordinance Calvin County to provide for the vision of excessive noise and nuisance enforcement and to set criminal penalties for failure to comply after notice. Uh, anybody have any comments, questions? If not, we'll move to ordinance 2021-19 in order to amend article section 50-31 and section 50-36 of the code of ordinance for Calvin County, South Carolina, mobile homes. Anyone with any questions or comments? Hearing none, we'll go to ordinance 2021-20 in order to authorize Calvin County Historical Commission is willing to contract for sales for certain properties. Anyone have any questions or comments? Okay, and Aaron Nundy, uh, public hearing ordinances are over. Mr. Hagler, I put third reading of that last one under there, um, so we could just do that. Right that right right. Okay, yes, just okay. on the one. Okay, I need a motion on uh, ordinance 2021 20 ordinance authorizing the Calvin County Historical Commission <laughs> to enter into contracts of sales for certain properties. Mr. Chairman, I move we uh, pass ordinance 2021-20 for the sale of property by the historical commission. Second that. Property moved and second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed are likewise, ayes have it. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Ch Chairman, I'm sorry. Uh, I failed to, uh, after I explained amending the agenda on that resolution for the Lone Star LLC, okay. to add that one property into the fold, we do need for you to vote and approve that, please. Okay. 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 To uh, amend the agenda. Yeah, we'll wait. Mr. Chairman, I move that we amend the agenda to include under resolutions the Lone Star Solar Project uh, expansion by uh, one property. Sir. Any further discussion? Aye. Aye. Opposed, likewise, ayes have it. Thank you. Okay. Have uh, we have that approval minutes? Yeah, just play a little bit. Um, they have a motion for approval of the September 13th. So moved. Second. Probably move a second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed, likewise, the ayes have it. And the committee reports. Ken, you want to uh, um, brief more what we did? We did have a little Yeah, little um, and John, you can jump in if you need to. We did meet on last Monday night, the 20th, with the school board with regard to the uh, memorandum of understanding on the 
use of the um, the recreation complex. Uh, it, the, the memorandum of understanding basically establishes primarily establishes the fees that the school district would pay us and how you know for for their use of the facility and anything like that any kind of agreement that we need for them to use the facility john do we hear back from them yet are we still waiting there? we have we have not and, and councilman westway that's good and ultimately this facility will be a partnership between the county the school district and the town of st matthews and so we're now in the midst of meeting with the school board next will be with the town of st matthews town council uh, but ultimately this this facility will be utilized uh, it's our vision to be utilized during the day school hours by the school after hours weekends and nights would be the county uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, and i would like um since this you know these things kind of pop up on our radar we know what's going on but for the people watching at home or for the people here um it may have slipped past you and i just don't want to make sure that you know what we're talking about here uh the, the county purchased uh 57 acres at the corner of saints avenue that's coming straight out in front of the high school until it gets to chestnut street which is right uh by the family health center but on the opposite corner on that side of the road of um, chestnut street we purchased that land we have hired uh metters metters uh, as the uh, architect of record for that project uh, they have given us some uh, schematics and some drawings on what what we're looking at they have worked up some cost estimates uh, so we're trying we uh, and, and we have gone out and uh, and sold bonds in the amount of two million dollars that it, not all of it all of it's not earmarked for that but a, but a lion's share of it is for that project so we're trying to work with other entities now, and we're working together uh, in grant funds from other entities as well as to work with uh, other local agencies and using their resources and using their abilities to get grants um, so that we can put a nice uh, recreational facilities there. Uh, right now, we're looking at a full-blown football field, a couple full-blown soccer fields, pickleball courts and um tennis courts tennis courts and playground 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 and walking play, play and walk and track so that if uh you know adults carry their children up to participate in things at that event at, on those you know practices etc the, the adults have something to do and if they've got smaller children the smaller children can have a uh, recreation while they're up there as well so like I say, it's, uh, that takes up um, probably about 60% of the land area that is what we're talking, 50 or 60%, and, and that would be phase one. Phase two would follow sometime in the future, um, and et cetera. But like I say, these things that we, we see kind of week in and week out are not that uh, um, well known maybe to people who are listening, tuned in, listening on Facebook or whatever. So I just want to bring that out. Thank you. Okay. Anybody have any questions, comments? Uh, any other committee reports? No, sir. Uh, under appointments, we have a resignation from the Jumper Station. Uh, Mr. Gulf. Gulf is a, I don't know pronounce yes, that right. Yes, sir. And resigned. Um, the fire commission is anxious to appoint Mr. Carson Assault. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, sir. That's good, yeah. But uh, no harm if I didn't pronounce it. I don't mean anything wrong to him. Make that motion. Uh, I second. Bob Dumont and second that we appoint Mr. Uh, Carson Crescent to the fire commission of the job station. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor, aye. 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 We don't have any proclamations. No, sir. No, sir. No, no appearances. No, sir. All right, we do have a resolution 19 2021 setting the millage and local option sales slash credit back for 2021 2022. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 
I move that we, uh, uh, or is this a one-time deal, the setting of the millage and local options have that? Okay, yeah, I, I move that we uh, pass resolution 19-2021. Second. Sorry. I move a second in further discussion. I'm sorry, who's second? John. Uh, thank you, John. Did we have any, any numbers associated with that? We're going to hold off and bring that later. We, we do. You, you got it. You got it there. Oh, it's in the packet. Yes, yes. No, we didn't. Uh, no, no, no. So can we, uh, can we bring, can we just, yeah, yeah bring up a review on it or something? It's actually within your mouth. Okay. Basically, the same as it was last year. Yes, I mean, okay. yeah, so we can I move on this Lone Star project to the rest Yes, sir. Well, we got a vote on this first. Oh, we got a vote on this first. Yeah, I just want to know what the number is. Okay, okay. Any further discussion? That's on the resolution 19 2021. Only paper. He changed. Yeah. Can you want to make the motion? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Chairman, I move that we pass a resolution uh, to be determined number, which would include the addition of one additional property to the Lone Star Solar Project that we have already approved. Um, and like I say, we'll get a number on that, I guess, at a later date. Yeah, I'm second. Second. About to move and second on the resolution. Uh, all in favor, aye. Uh -huh. Old black man's eyes have it. <clears throat> Under old business, uh, the transfer of funds from the federal court relief fund <clears throat> went to the Calvin County Sheriff's Department. I guess that's open for a motion. Okay, that's where we're on motion now. Okay, I move that we have transfer of funds uh, from the federal COVID relief funds money to the Calvin County Sheriff's Department as prescribed in the Sheriff's last package. Second. I'll second. Probably move and second. Any further discussion? Mr. Chairman, I ask for a roll call vote, please. Okay. Uh, Vicki, would you and John conduct the roll call, please? <coughs> yes, sir. Councilman Thornton? Aye. Mr. Hagel? Nay. Mr. Nelson? Aye. And Mr. Westfield? Nay. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay. That's going to be terrible because the tie vote. Um, a tie vote yeah. uh, is a failure. As a, as a vote. It's a failure for failure to have a majority. Okay. Anything else on the whole business? John, do you have anything on the new business? Uh, no, sir. No new business. Do we have a couple of ordinances that both of them will hold? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John, we down to the administrator. Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce the new employees. Uh, we've got a few here. We've got Mr. Bernard Caldwell. Uh, he's with the custodial uh, service. we got Mr. Damon. Palmer, uh, maintenance. Marquez uh, Wanamaker, he's maintenance. Miss Janice Baskin is a clerk, and Skylar Williams is a clerk. And so we appreciate uh, we appreciate them coming in as new employees. There are none of them here tonight, but uh, did want to recognize them. Uh, also, uh, approval of the zoning change for tax map. Number 030-00-01-019 from residential neighborhood, community, commercial per May 20 planning commission approval. So this was a, an approval that the planning commission went through the planning commission and got approved back in May and failed to actually move forward with your approval. And so what we're asking for tonight is uh, for that approval for that zoning class. Could, could you give us a physical location kind of on that? I, don't, I should have looked it up on the tax map. Yes, sir. So this this is one, um, right at, what's that? Yes, yeah, 80 night. In the Sandy Run area, it's 80 night. Yes, sir. Mr. John Nelson is familiar with 80 night. Uh, but it's one that, uh, 
that he had residential, it made more sense after we got rezoned. It's one of those things that uh, it's a long I-26 corridor. Uh, it makes more sense for it to be community uh, commercial. He wants it. We believe it to be true. The planning commission has approved it. I just failed in bringing it to you for your approval. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the zoning change and tax map for 030001019. Sir. Second, any further discussion? John, you have any comments? No, I mean, I've known Eddie for years and I know exactly what he's trying to accomplish there. I have a little with that. Fine. All right, and the, uh, I've got one thing uh, also there. Uh, just wanted to remind everybody October 15th. Is the countywide cleanup? And let me let me get that one. I don't think we passed it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> All in favor, aye. Aye. Likewise, ayes have it. Okay, now John, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Too fast. All right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just wanted to remind everybody about the community-wide litter pickup uh, campaign, October 15th. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to call uh, our office here. Talk with Ron Gibson or myself. And that's it as far as administrator. Okay. Chairman, I move we go into executive session <coughs> for security issue, personnel matter and administration, economic development, project honey hole, and project big pop big pop. I second that. Probably move we'll second any further discussion on that. Yeah, okay. and we will be coming out to vote on one of these items. We will be coming out to vote. Okay. Oh, yeah. We bring one item out. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, you see, bye. Bye. Thank you all. Okay.